good morning all of you so today we are going to look at uh, uh, you know one of the interesting topics so we are basically uh, doing threat hunting on splunk so we are trying to identify some of the powershell execution related events within our environment right so you can see on the left hand side we are trying to explore some of the scenarios today uh, so in our today's demonstration we are basically looking at modder data set which is one of the uh, open source projects and you know has got really a very good amount of the data sets you know uh, from the attack perspective uh, so without any delay i will be uh, getting back to my console you can see that my dummy data basically resides under this particular source type uh, just give me a sec and so if i go to my you know one note file you can see that the first event or the first query which we are looking at is you know we are trying to look at uh, some of the windows logon events and we will try to focus on you know uh, if somebody is really trying to uh, 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 log in into our system with the help of you know a powershell or something of that sort so which is little uh, uh, which is uh, not really anticipated in our environment so you can see that there are certain events uh, corresponding to that right so it's it just give us a good lead or good head start we can really uh, get into more details you know into the events what we really have uh, but for for time being i will be looking into the uh, second you know uh, second scenario so we are basically looking at you know uh, we are trying to look at you know non interactive mode so for example if powershell as a process is getting started from one of the other processes you know so uh, normally if i try to launch uh, my powershell console i will basically and uh, you know so uh, um, for me the parent process will be explorer.exe right so here uh, just give me a sec if i just make the copy of this particular query i will be getting back to my console and here right if i try to run this particular query would like to highlight some of the things so for example i want to see uh, you know the process name uh, the new process which has got started so explicitly looking for powershell as a process and similarly i am also trying to see you know if the powershell process is not really getting started the parent process is not really explorer.exe so that is uh, the thing you know i wanted to mention so you can see the new process uh, so powershell is uh, is one of the processes spawned from the uh, you know uh, parent process and you can see the parent process is nothing but you know w script w script so it is basically happening in the user context you can see this this is the user name uh, so so th i think this is uh, this might give us a good lead uh, or good starting point you know uh, why the powershell as a process is really getting spawned from the uh, you know uh, this particular script right so uh, so it is basically giving us a good picture of some some execution is really going on right so just give me a sec delete this if i go back so we'll be looking at another demonstration now so uh, now i will be looking at you can see that uh, we will be looking at event id uh, 7 so event id 7 uh, basically corresponds to if you know uh, one of the modules is uh, getting loaded into one of the process so we are more concerned about powershell as a process for the time being uh, so we will try to see what is the modules which are getting loaded in the powershell as a process so i will take or i will copy this particular query and so i will put it like this right so you know so you can uh, you you might know that you know uh, uh, in, in the windows environment uh, there are something known as dll files which is just like you know the predefined functions so we might we might try to you know uh, load those particular modules of predefined functions to carry out some of the actions but we are really concerned about powershell as a process and what kind of the dll libraries are getting loaded into this particular process so i think this particular spl command will give us a good visibility and let's see what what does it show right so you can see program files you can see uh, windows microsoft dot net you know so uh, so if i keep on scrolling down system 32 uh, system 32 so here you can see uh, you know assembly native images or something of that sort right so uh, so so if uh, all these kind of you know uh, this particular table you might uh, see something you know which which really uh, uh, which really uh, makes us curious right so for example i am really interested here so for example you can see native images 
you are also looking at the dll files which are getting up, uh, loaded into the powershell as a process so uh, to me what really stands out is you know uh, this this one you know the system management automation so uh, this is one of the uh, you can say the powershell uh, you know uh, extension libraries so which basically deals with run space so run space is one of the uh, you know it, uh, one of the instance which basically represents the collection of you know modifiable commands or variables or functions you know so uh, i will not be getting into the detail of this particular predefined function but however uh, this basically represents that you know uh, something is getting changed or something is really getting modified by powershell as a process uh, you know because the run space uh, basically uh, basically uh, tells us that you know uh, it's it's an instance of the modifiable uh, commands or something and and this kind of uh, you know a predefined function is getting loaded into the powershell right so it is giving us a good lead at this point in time uh, so let me uh, move back to uh, you know so for example i will delete this so now we will be looking at our fourth scenario so we are basically looking at uh, the events which uh, which represents pipe creation so pipe creation is again you know if one particular process is acting as an input for the another process and so this particular command may also give us some kind of the visibility you know which which will give us a lead that you know something malicious is really happening in our environment right so for example if i really execute this particular query you know so uh, so event id you know event id 17 uh, basically uh, corresponds to the pipe creation events uh, so we have already installed a sysmon uh, as a plugin in our environment and therefore even id 17 so you know so it basically gives me a very interesting results you know so for example you can see uh, you know this particular thing the default app domain dot powershell so uh, you know uh, your process is basically reaching out to one particular domain one particular app domain and I'm not sure for what reasons right and you can also see the process ID you know so for example uh, uh, you can see that you know this is the process ID so we might need to uh, you know delve deeper into this particular process ID and what is the uh, what is the intention uh, you know so for example this might also represent exfiltration attempts to this particular domain so this is our a dummy data set that is why we are not really able to see any kind of the domain so default app domain in place of the default app domain you can have any kind of the malicious domain and which might represent you know exfiltration to that particular domain you know so uh, moving on so we'll be moving into the our last uh, use case or scenario for today so uh, you know uh, i uh, so this particular scenario is quite deep so what i wanted to say is you know your powershell can be executed in the context of you know wmi right uh, which basically hints at you know the lateral movement attempts you know so for example uh, you if you can really read this particular line and if you really want to google more around that you know how uh, you know uh, how uh, uh, this particular uh, you know uh, the powershell desired state configuration uh, you know uh, can be able to exploit uh, you know uh, or you know can be able to uh, help attacker in you know uh, in lateral movement right so i will be uh, taking advantage of this particular query which is a quite a simple query so let's see what is the results we are getting so the point is uh, you know if powershell is getting executed in the wmi context you know it might be representative of the fact that you know lat there is a lateral movement uh, you know uh, uh, which might indicate a lateral movement within our environment right so that is the important thing to note or to mention so you can see uh, that you know again if i really look at the message you know uh, you can see that has started an ipc listening thread on the process 2316 and again uh, since this is a dummy data set we are not really able to see uh, the domain you know domain might be malicious so we might want to look more what this particular process represents or what this particular process is doing but uh, this event id 53504 uh, you know really corresponds to you know uh, if somebody is really taken an advantage of you know powershell desired state configuration right so it might also give you a good lead so uh, let me know uh, you know uh, your feedback in the comments you know so that's it for the today's demonstration hope you like it